Hi, welcome back to the Reload Bench. So my son and I both have AKs with slant compensators on them. And we both have issues because of those compensators. For me, the issue is that I would get the buttstock slapping me in the face every time I fired the rifle. The rifle would cock sideways because of the angle of the compensator. So my solution was to get this Tapco muzzle brake. I've already done a video on this, and that seemed to take care of the problem. Now the rifle just pushes back. It doesn't cock side to side. However, this muzzle brake is so big, I can't fix a bayonet to the rifle. I also tried with this one from Century Arms. It's smaller, but it's still too big in diameter to fit a bayonet to the rifle. However, it does deal with the issue of getting that buttstock slapped to the face. Now, I've been told that there's a video out there that shows a way to hold the AK to mitigate that uh, the, the slap to the face. However, I haven't seen the video, and until I do, I can't decide whether or not I'm going to actually apply that technique. In the meantime, I wanted to look for a solution to that problem. Additionally, on my son's his muzzle brake or his compensator is a slant compensator that looks very similar to the one on mine. However, we tried with both a Romanian and East German bayonet, which are virtually identical, and the ring will not slide over the compensator. Now, I considered taking it into work and turning it down in the lathe to make it fit, but what I decided to do was resolve both of our issues by trying out a new compensator on both of our rifles that will accept a bayonet. So I did a search online for a bayonet compatible AK muzzle device. I came across a company called Damage Industries. On their site, I found their AK-47 bayonet compatible cage compensator. Now the cage compensator comes in two finishes, magnesium phosphate and black oxide. I paid $25 each for them and to have uh, both shipped to my house was about $11. It took about three days from the time I ordered it to the time it, it showed up. I mean, it was very fast service, and I was, I was impressed with, with how quickly that they processed my order. Now, I decided what I would do was get one of each finish, one for my son and one for me, and these are going to be Christmas presents. Conveniently, tomorrow is Christmas. So, let's go ahead and open up this box before I have to wrap these up, and let's take a look at both compensators. All right, it would only be appropriate to open up the box with an AK bayonet. Let's see what's inside. It's wrapped up pretty good. There we go. Packing slip. These feel very light. So here is the black oxide. By the way, these compensators are made in America. That's a selling point for me. Wow, that is small. Slips right over. So there's the black oxide. Now let's take them. By the way, uh, please forgive the mess here. I've been doing some uh, black powder videos on the reload bench and uh, I'm not done yet, so. And then here is the magnesium phosphate. How about if I hold it to the right side there? And that seems to fit just fine. So you probably can't see too well in the light, but the black oxide is uh, kind of a, a shiny black, not too, too much, like a semi-gloss and the magnesium phosphate looks like a uh, parkerized finish. So let me go ahead and get my Wasser 10 in the Sight and Clean stand and I'll apply one of these to it and we'll take a look and see what it looks like on the rifle. Please forgive the background noise as I've had to move the rifle outside. There wasn't enough room to really demonstrate this on the reload bench with all that clutter and the light's a little bit better out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the slant compensator from my Wasser 10. As far as I know, this is a TAPCO made in America in order to be 922R compliant. And there's simply a button right here you can push. You probably could depress it with your thumb, but it's easy to do with, say, a knife or a flathead screwdriver. And it's left-handed thread, so turn it right to remove it. Simply take off 
the compensator. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the magnesium phosphate finish. You can see it looks fairly similar to the TAPCO compensator here. So simply thread left, which is counterintuitive, the thread to the left. Then go ahead and depress the button here. Thread in the rest of the way and it'll click right in place. And there you go, it fits. So I've repositioned the rifle with the butt onto the deck. I found that installing this vertically for me works out better than trying to install it horizontally on the sight and clean. So I'm gonna slide the ring over the end of the compensator and line it up with the bayonet lug. And it simply locks into place. I've repositioned the rifle one last time up onto the table, up onto the sight and clean, so you can see the bayonet mounted horizontally. You can see there's very little play in this, and it looks like it's going to be functional. Aesthetically, it looks good. It's not in the path of the projectile, so I think everything will work out. Unfortunately, I don't have any range footage to add to this. Maybe at some point in the future, I'll take this rifle, or we'll take both rifles to the range, and I'll let you know how well this compensator performed with the Wasser 10 and or the Riley Defense AK. In the meantime though, what I've got to do is I've got to remove this and wrap both of these up and get them underneath the tree so that Santa delivers them in time for Christmas. Hopefully my son is very happy with this. So I hope everybody had a safe and Merry Christmas and thanks for watching.